British Science Week is the UK's largest grassroots celebration of science, technology, engineering and maths. We're really looking forward to a week which hopefully will inspire the next generation of scientists. People have been loving it, whether it's robotics, whether it's stories, things like genes, space, there's something in it for everyone. Smart Detective is a cyber citizen science project that's trying to get as many people to help as possible. Evening events like this makes a great idea. Come along, sit in a bookshop, have a glass of wine and hear about something that you probably wouldn't have thought about. What in writing this book did you find that was genuinely surprising to you? I see this as an exercise in the history of ideas. It sounded fascinating. I'm really interested in how science fits into the wider picture of who we are. It's really important for science and indeed for philosophy and education to engage with the general public. Today we had a celebrity scientist, Greg Foote, come in and help us explore science in more depth. We've had some great reactions from uh, kind of looks of ooh, when you know flames turn into different colours to um, we did a bottle rocket with, with Peter. His face was a picture. It gets them excited, it gets them more curious, it, it, it just opens up their mind to so many questions. When the acid and the alkaline are pushed together, they make water and a gas, then they pop. <laughs> Welcome to this evening's future debate, entitled A Robot Stole My Job. We're right in the midst of British Science Week, it's really exciting, it's a grassroots celebration of science, technology, maths, as well as the creative arts. And what we love to hear is people doing events all across the country and getting involved. Science is everywhere around us more so than ever, and we need everyone to feel that they can debate it, engage with it, appreciate it, enjoy it, and contribute, even if they're not a scientist in a white coat. One can have that discussion. I want to educate people to think about these things. I want to engage in debates about what the future of science and technology should be. So it's really important for us to have um, the public see the research behind Cancer Research UK and British Science Week is an excellent opportunity for us to do this, to invite them into our labs. If we can get future generations interested in science, that's a really fantastic opportunity. I think it's fantastic for students to really show them what their careers could be. I think it's motivating in that kind of way. L'Oreal is a very proud business built on science. Um, we were started over 100 years ago by a scientist and we're really intrigued by, by the science behind beauty products and that's why for us we feel so passionately about supporting something like British Science Week. Days like this give them the opportunity to see behind the scenes. I just understand now how important science is and how it relates to our everyday life. Uh, I didn't realise how many jobs involved science so now I'm really thinking of taking science forward. Strike Lighter is a live event and podcast where we have people tell true personal stories about the effect of science in their life. I was sat on top of an active nuclear reactor holding a paintbrush. We're basically storytellers who happen to be very, very interested in the scientific world. And then suddenly, bam, the road disappeared. I thought it would be a really interesting and novel way to engage people in science. If you tell people stories, they want to know more. Electric Voice Theatre is a company of singers who work with contemporary composers and who do cutting edge work. They visited Life Sciences Museum at King's College London and learned about DNA and crystallography and Rosalind Franklin. And they put all the knowledge they had into pieces of music. Rosalind Franklin. We learned about Rosalind Franklin, an X-ray crystallographer. We all have different DNAs and identical twins have the same DNA. It gave the kids the opportunity to speak directly to the scientists. If you live for a very long time, could you have too much DNA? The idea was that we took uh, a look at the 50 odd years of Horizon Archive. It's been very, very interesting because not only do we tell the, the story of human spaceflight up to now, but you also see how Horizon and how television science has, has changed and how we approach telling science stories. It was a fantastic event, it actually brought back a lot of memories. Science is playing a greater and greater role in our society, but now it's kind of more centrally playing a role. And that's what British Science Week is all about 
capturing people's excitement and interest in science and showing them that it can lead to a fantastic career or just open your mind to the wonder of the world.